Hi guys, it's Aristotle again, and welcome back to my first year on tea. So, this week I'm talking about two things since I missed last week, because I got really sick. <laughs> really, really, really sick. So, I think mo most of this last week's topic was how you come out to people and whether or not it's different and blah 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 and then the this week is more fashion and how you describe yourself when it comes to you know what you wear so starting with last week since I missed last week um, it's more of do you come out to different people differently and do you tell people about hormones and how are you coming out to people so generally I come out to people um, kind of when it comes up in conversation I don't really tell people I let people assume and do whatever the heck and I don't really correct them unless need be but um otherwise it's kind of like I'll talk about something like oh I get my name changed or like oh well like one conversation I was having is like I don't like this person and this is why and it's because they're being transphobic and so I had to tell this person I was like oh I'm trans and so it'll start something about me not understanding me and they're just generally being very mean about it so I uh that's how it came up for that person it kind of just kind of goes like that for everybody when it comes to uh when it comes to when it comes to that but um it doesn't really change when it comes to different people I very rarely don't come out to people but I don't correct people as much I, I don't like correcting people instead I have a basically a little team of people and a little like <laughs> a couple of friends around me who just whenever someone says she they're like he like <laughs> like in the middle of class today a teacher was talking and they said you were interrupting her and then they're and they're like him and I was like I love you too and then they got yelled at because they were interrupting the teacher but you know I was like I love you too so much mm, thank you um it's generally because I feel awkward correcting people and then they get really like flustered and they're like I'm so sorry and I'd rather not and um it should be something I do more and it's definitely something I will work towards um, as I slowly develop more masculine features and things such as that. Um, so that was very quick. <laughs> I don't find it hard to come out to people because if people, uh, luckily I live in a very accepting state um, that is generally very open to trans people California thank you um, so I don't find it hard to talk to people about my gender and um, telling those things of course there are some questions like how you know you're so young but that I, I understand where they're coming from and even though they're more problematic compliments or not compliments comments it doesn't bother me that much because I know myself well enough that I'm like, I, I know. Like, you might not understand, but I know, and that's okay with me. So, I don't find it difficult to come out to people for that reason, luckily. Um, this week was more of a fashion choice. So, I switched between a lot of stuff. I have a very broad fashion choice. Just like my music tastes, I have a very broad... Thing. Sometimes it will be more like Tumblr hipster-esque and then sometimes it'll be more aesthetic late night drives, neon lights, dingy motels with your best friends kind of aesthetic and um, it really depends on how I'm feeling. I can't really explain it but I kind of associate colors with feelings. Everybody kind of does that is where like there are certain colors and that certain color means this thing and color theory 
um, like red makes you more angry, blah, 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 blah. So like, it kind of just depends on how I'm feeling that day. If I'm feeling like, um, like a, a yellow, let's just say yellow, then I'd wear more flowery things and more feminine things, um, typically. If I'm feeling like a gray day, I'll wear more of like beetles and 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s things like music, kind of reminiscent stuff, even though the fact that I'm born in 2002, um, I still like those things and I kind of just accumulate my style and generally associate how I feel and waking up that day. I'm like, you know what? Today's gonna be a good day. Let's wear a yellow day. Let's go some flowery boots and some cute fuzzy socks or I lifted my leg up, but you know, it <laughs> really depends. Um, I do wear generally kind of the same type of clothing though. A lot of it will be looser fit and it will have some type of print on it. Like this one is Let It Be and then it has the Beatles. Um, and kind of distracts the fact that my chest ain't flat. And um, yeah, and they'll also be usually like a size bigger or I tend to like getting the ones with the shorter arms but longer torso. It's for longer body people and it makes me seem a lot taller. Um, but depending on the person, sometimes it makes you seem shorter. Uh, it kinda depends. But yeah, I generally go for more baggier clothing. My pants are usually baggy. I wear like, if I could show you, I have very baggy clothing. And I do wear pants sometimes, but when I do wear pants, they're straight. And then I roll up the cuffs and I wear like long socks and like nice boots and then like a nice flowery shirt tucked in with some patterns on it so that kind of disguises that as well. I wear a lot of dark clothing. It's all very solid. I don't wear sheer things because I have Le Binder. So because I have Le Binder, um, you would see it through and you'd be like, the heck is that? So if I want to be more cis passing, I don't wear sheer clothing. I have one article of sheer clothing that I never wear. So I also tend to wear a lot of beanies because beanies hide my hair because I've been feeling very dysphoric about my hair, but I also don't want to cut my hair. So I cover all up all of this madness um, with a beanie. And it also gives it a more gives your face it makes your face look a little square i've noticed it makes me look like a like a yeah yeah you get what i mean type of feel so that, that's fun um another this is less fashion and more of just like taking care of yourself i guess it could be considered fashion somewhat but more taking care of yourself this is like a small tip I would say for people who want to be more masculine looking, definitely work out your upper body more. Uh, so basically from your hips up, work out your biceps, triceps, abs, and work them out in a way, there's certain workouts. There are female, like typical Instagram female model, workouts and then there's like typical masculine male Instagram model workouts and make sure to do if you're on the trans masculine trans male non-binary masculine scale go for more of those things because if you have say if you go for the more trans feminine side or not but like the more feminine side of working out you will get more of the typical 11 when you're working out when especially your abs and um, it's less it's more of building right here and stuff than your shoulders and your biceps and triceps and so I generally focus more on those trans masculine things 
and try to find more things that will give you a six pack instead of an 11 and things such as those that will make you feel a little bit more masculine and I think it, it kind of sucks because when I go I don't wear a binder I wear just the normal sports bra and it feels horrible <laughs> in the moment if I'm focusing too much on it I will leave but I generally make up for it because I wear super baggy clothing and I have super 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 baggy clothing for when I go to the gym because then it just kind of and it just kind of seems more it's less noticeable it's still noticeable but it's less noticeable and that's what I'm going for also wearing a beanie to the gym also works as well uh, so yeah that that's a thing um, those all really help another thing is if you are more on the shorter side and you want to be taller um, is wearing there's these things I, I don't use them but I know there's this thing where you put it's like a heel insert and it makes you taller by a couple of inches it's not that much but those will definitely 